You think they saw us? I don't think so. I think we're good, for now at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it.
okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom, just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon, soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben, no offense, but... Have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? You out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Not 
get too close. Leave him! He's mine. Where the hell have you been? You. What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Did it. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold them off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Got that one off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put 
it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Never stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. out pretty good too great work Kenny how you doing with that door not so good here let me give you a hand did you get that battery yet yeah Molly has it she should be back here soon she'd better be
What happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Vernon, Krista. Come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said. The worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. <laughs> 